guys, just a heads up, but I'm really sorry I didn't vlog much on my trip, but I took heaps of photos, so I compiled it into a video to share my experience with you guys. But anyways, I, I went to Hong Kong in the beginning of February, and that was trying to see here, so you know, there was a lot of decorations everywhere, as you can see in the photos. car that I mainly went in, um, it's popular here in Hong Kong and it kind of reminds me of the green celebrity vans that they use and also the cars here are usually all clean and a little more new it's, um, because of the tall buildings that there are either no dust or little or no dirt at all. You see this a lot in um, Hong Kong kind of like their construction, they use a lot of bamboo shoots and it's just like the rush hour movies if you watch them. And the buildings here here are all tall and these ones are the older style buildings and this one's one of the new apartments. Ooh, a puppy! Nah, but seriously, I've noticed that there's a lot of big dogs here everywhere in Hong Kong though. If you guys plan to shop here, you should really know the streets well. Um, they kind of all kind of look the same so you can easily get lost. And I remember going through a street and there was a whole street full of sports shoes and another street full of aquariums. And so, um, also a side note guys, the street are kind of a bit smelly and has a strong sewage smell, so you should get used to that. Celebrities casually film on the streets regularly, it's so random to me, but I'm just crossing the road and the neck just bolted past me across the street and as I was taking a photo so lucky I got a shot of that. And the streets can get pretty crowded so you guys should be aware of your bags being stolen and just keep it close by to you. That's what I did majority of the time. This is a shopping centre in Times Square. There's so so many levels. I only went on two of the levels so I couldn't even count how many levels there were but I was so amazed at that. Camel blend tea or something. It was like a bag of flowers inside uh, the cup, as you can see. And in Asia, Starbucks, they've got regular teas and coffees. And you know what? I was looking forward to like buying the pumpkin or the marshmallow ones that you can get in America, but they don't have it here in Asia. So I was a bit sad about that. I love the McDonald's here in Hong Kong. It's so cheap and it feels so much healthier than the Australian one. One meal is like three to four. Five dollars Australian dollar, and I had four meals for like fifteen Australian dollars, which is like even half price. That's so good. But yeah, if you eat in restaurants off the main street, um, some of them like they get so so packed that there's not enough tables for everyone to sit on. And you know what they do? They just sit you next to randoms. It's a bit awkward, but if the food is that good, you know why not just sit next to randoms and have your meal? Now I love how food is so much readily available here. Um, compared to back home, I don't even eat much as I do when I was on my trip and that's what I miss the most but you know what I don't miss all the fat that I gained from the trip but yeah the fruits here are humongous as well it's ridiculous yeah there's another dog just casually chilling next to me while I'm sitting there eating here's just a few items that I bought um, I'll be uploading a whole video next so watch out for that and uh, I also got my nails done while I was Hong Kong but it was so expensive and the lady was so rude and she didn't even do it properly and she rushed it so you can see the flowers sticking on the side. And yeah that's just me following the Asian lifestyle with the mask and stuff. I used it to cover the smell in the corners but I'm pretty sure they use it to protect yourself from getting sick but yeah that's what I did. And here I am on the cable car to go to the Buddha. It was a long ride but it was worth it. Like me, 
or if you're up for the challenge, you can hike in there. But it's like a four hour hike, and as you can see, there's a man resting right there. And yeah, there's always pit stops, so if ever you get tired of hiking, you can always stop one of the cable cars and get on one and ride there by cable car yourself. Doki Vee. I'm just trying to uh, get a headshot of myself and the Buddha in the background but it wasn't really working for me but yeah I just look like a big dog anyways Walking up that huge staircase was such a good exercise to go see the Buddha. It didn't even take 15 minutes, it's really fast and you know what, it was good for the body. And so you lost a little bit of weight, well I lost a little bit of weight I hope from all the eating that I did. The clouds, they feel so close, like you could reach out and touch it. And I've never seen such a sight before. It's so, so new to me. I had so much fun on this trip. And um, if you guys didn't know, it was my first trip away from the whole family. But just like most of you guys, I can't live without the internet. So um, most of the places, they do have Wi-Fi. But you just got to ask the staff for the password. And also another thing. Like most shops here, they have aircon on, which is kind of ridiculous because it's already cold and they even have it on at night time because I remember going to a restaurant at night time and even though I was wearing a jacket, I was freezing and the shop, they only give you one tissue paper one when you eat so it's best to bring a pack of tissue around with you and um, you might even find that you need to use it when you get to the toilet because um, I went to a toilet in a shopping mall and they had no tissue at all so lucky I had some on hand with me As I've said before guys, these are my own opinions and experience that I want to share with guys. So please don't feel offended and please don't hate me, but that's what I think. And so thanks for watching guys, I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.